Juan Havelange's stadium is shining. Welcome to Rio de Janeiro. The opening ceremony of the fifth military world games is magnificent. Under this beautiful Carioca night full of stars, the Brazilian army orchestra sets the tone. A little taste of the next World Cup that will be held in Brazil in 2014. It's also something of a repetition, since the wonderful city will also be the theatre of the 2016 Olympic Games. These games take place in the spirit of friendship and brotherhood. After the yellow and green flag of the hosting country comes the peace stuff fluttering its wings. 6,000 military athletes represent 110 countries participating in these World Games. The United States are well represented and the French delegation of 135 competitors have real chances of medals. 250 Brazilian athletes are going to defend their flag and are the favorites in athletics, judo, swimming, and of course, football. My deepest gratitude to Her Excellency Mrs. Dilma Rousseff, President of the Federal Republic of Brazil, to her government, the armed forces of Brazil and the people of Brazil for the huge sacrifice that has been made toward the success of this fifth edition of the Military World Games. I wish you all good luck and let the best win. Muito obrigado. Declaro aberta. I declare open the fifth edition of the Military World Games International Sports. Good luck to all. Thank you very much. The greatest football player of all time, Edson Aranches do Nascimento, the King Pele, is going to light the cauldron for the competition. Pele is also the ambassador of the 2014 Football World Cup. This little boy with golden hair is the mascot of the fifth military world games. Arian has the power to become a super military hero using the magical symbol of the white dove his mission is to use sport to promote peace between nations. Arian is assisted in his mission by his brothers, the Soldiers of Peace. The name of the mascot was chosen from more than 80,000 online voters. Brazil was eliminated by Algeria in the semi-final and then had the third place playoff against Qatar. At the end of the first half, a great opportunity, but Gomez puts it wide. On this free kick, the Qatari goalkeeper has trouble pushing the ball away. Brazil has to play extra time. Gomez, good ball towards the far post, and it's headed home. Francis Coutinho opens the scoring in the ninth minute of extra time. Brings the contest to a close. Brazil have claimed the bronze medal. Algeria is in the final against its arch enemy, Egypt. The Okbi Benadouche. One to eight, four in the middle. It's a great cross. And the opening goal. Sidorin Awadi at the far post. And it's Algeria who strike first in this final. Wonderful play up the left-hand side. To the middle, what an opportunity for 2-0. No, he's gone round the keeper. And it's cleared. Blocked on the line. Amrun so close to making it 2-0. Ten minutes later, a new opportunity for Algeria. But Mohamed Amrun failed. In spite of numerous tries, the Egyptians are never going to equalise. Ahmed Aid upsets the Algerian defence, but the ball is hovering on the goal line. And Hamed Hassan misses the header. The Algerians can savour the happiness as they win the gold medal in the men's football championship. Egypt gets silver and Brazil has to console itself with the bronze. The 
the women's final is between Brazil in yellow and Germany in red. The star, Katia Silvia, plays for Paris Saint-Germain. She finds the crossbar. Some minutes later, the player up front opens the way to the goal, dummies round the defender and strikes the ball left, sending it flying onto the goalkeeper's body. Superb technical skill from Silva. Minutes later, a perfect cross from Michelle, and Silva heads the ball over the German goalkeeper. 2-0 for Brazil, and it's not over yet. A penalty at 72 minutes. Daniel Dos Santos scores the third goal. The Germans are on the back foot now. Lisa Weiss can only push the ball into the path of Andrea Dos Santos, who crosses it to Ferreira. 4-0 to Brazil. At the last moment, another goal from Dos Santos. 5-0. As the final whistle blows, and it is Brazil, and they've won it in style here, defeating Germany by five goals to nil. The Brazilians won the gold medal, Germany the silver, and Netherlands the bronze. A postcard picture of beautiful beaches touched by the Atlantic Ocean sustains the 72 marathon competitors for the 42-kilometer, 195-meter run. It's six years since the record of two hours and eight minutes has been broken by Shami Mubarak from Qatar. The French Gamouni is chasing a silver medal, but the true struggle is between another Frenchman, Tambwe, and the Kenyan Goski, who burns out. Tambwe wins the struggle and does it in two hours and 18 minutes. The Korean Kim Kim Ok snatches the women's gold. Two French runners on the podium was a surprise. We are obviously delighted, especially since we came with our two best runners, who spent many months preparing hard, and we were betting that one of them would win. The fact that it ended with two medals is a fantastic surprise. I'm very happy as I spent six months preparing myself to be ready for this great event. The Brazilian public is wonderful, and here in Rio it's always a party. Everyone's great. It's true that the course is difficult, and the climate in Brazil is very difficult too, but fortunately it's winter here now. On the starting line of the men's 100 meters, the ex-Nigerian Femi Ogunaji is not the favorite. The Jamaican Robinson in lane two is. And they're off, and it's a good start by Robinson, and an equally good start by Sayun Ogunudi, and now Najri. And look at Ogunudi go, all the way. Fantastic sprinting, and he's got the gold. What a race. 10.7 seconds. Ogunaji sets a new military world record. The Moroccan Ohadi wins silver and Brazil's Andre Nilsson took the bronze. 25-6, the championship record. And in lane five, while well, the favorites made an absolute blistering start as he come round the bend, all eyes on Ogunude. He's leading the charge and leading it comfortably. Aziz in second place. The Dominican Republic's runner Tapia in third. And it's an easy victory in the end for Ogunude, ahead of Aziz. Ogunaji grimaces, but he wins his second gold medal and his second military world record. The Moroccan Uaji won a second silver medal. Dominican Joel Tapia, bronze medal. The two favorites of the 400 meter sprint are in lanes two and five, and they're both poles. But one big surprise is coming. The Iranian Hashami Ahangari takes the lead. The 20-year-old beats his personal record with a time of 45 seconds, 81. So gold medal for Iran, silver for Kenya, and bronze for the Dominican Republic. And they're underway, a clean start at the first time of asking. 
going well is uh, the Algerian Romani in lane three as they come round the first bend. Everybody in good position at the moment. Going well in lane five is also the Brazilian Fernandez. Fernandez going well in five. The Swiss runners are also doing well on the outside in lane eight. Santini is uh, doing well, but look out for lane six and the Italian Cap Capuotosti coming around the bend. Here they come as they come towards the final hurdle. It's Capuotosti who's leading. One hurdle to go. Capuotosti in first place at the moment. As he comes over the final hurdle, they're in a dead heat, but it's coming up on the inside. It's Fernandez, the Brazilian. Fernandez takes the goal for Brazil. 50 seconds 50 for the gold medal. The Venezuelan Salati takes silver. The Italian Capotoski takes bronze. The Finland's Ari Pekamania manages 82 meters 48 on his last try. Adding four meters to the competition record, he wins the gold medal ahead of Greek Spiridon Lempesis, who throws 76 meters 35. The Slovenian Matija Kranitz takes bronze with a throw of 74 meters 71. The world junior champion Motas Barshim from Qatar jumps 2 meters 29. This is only one centimeter higher than the previous record, held for 18 years by the Romanian Popescu. Ukrainian Yuri Krimarenko and Demionuk Dimitru won silver and gold. The African Highland runners are the masters of the 10,000 meters. The pack stays together, but eventually will shatter under the impetus of the Kenyans. Three runners take the lead, and at the bell for the final lap, the race becomes a sprint, with only two athletes vying for gold. It's adrenaline all the way. We come around the final bend into the home straight. Now the Kenyan makes his move. Has he got what it takes? Mob boob has got nothing left. It's going to be gold medal to Kenya. It's going to be close to Mob Boob kicks again. But Kenya, hold on. 28 minutes, 34.52 seconds. Kenyan Caprono scoops the gold medal. Mabu Babu takes silver for Bahrain. And another Kenyan, Kiplimo, takes bronze. In the triple jump, Jado Gregorio, silver medalist in Osako in 2007, lives a nightmare. Injured just before the competition, he couldn't defend his chances. He finishes sick. The consolation is another Brazilian triumph. Jefferson Sabino only made one of his five jumps, but with that jump of 16 meters 89, he won the gold. The Algerian Isam Nima took the silver medal. Better Russian Dmitry Dziatsuk took bronze. Italian Simone Mantia took the gold medal in the triple jump with a jump of 14 meters 19. It's no surprise as her personal record is 50 centimeters more. This 28 year old Sicilian has competition in her blood as her parents are also former Italian athletes. Kila Koshta of Brazil won silver and the Ukrainian Ruslana Saikoshka won bronze. Zen Yuwai from China is the only athlete to exceed 8 meters. On his third jump, he managed 8 meters and 5. A light wind probably gave him an advantage. Zhang Jia Oil managed to take second place and ensure a double for China. And bronze medal went to Venezuelan Victor Castillo. On the starting line of the 100 meters, all eyes are on Ana Silvia, the hope of Brazil. This small dynamo dominates the race at the beginning, but only crosses the line in second place in the wake of Ukrainian Marisa Raimayan, 
who wins in 11.34 seconds. In the replay, we can see the difference in style between the two champions. Anna Silva takes silver, and Alesha Poftik from the Ukraine takes bronze. And they're off. It's a pretty good start. The best start by the Greek Andriana Ferra. As they come around the bend, it's a very good bend by Riemian. She's gone past Ferra and then to the straight. Silver's looking good. Silver's got the lead. Silver's looking very good. It's goal for Silver. Bursting through the home straight. She's made the home fans delighted. And this time Riemian has to settle for the Silver. Anna Silva takes her revenge on the Ukrainian. But that's not all. She also establishes a new military world record. The 23-year-old sprinter is beaming. Her two Ukrainian rivals take silver and gold. Initially, the 3,000 meters steeplechase favorites are the two Kenyans, Chichia and Chimba. They are the best performers of the year. The French, Lachan Angu, is well placed, but soon the Ugandan Simon Ayeki, Kamal from Qatar, and Hashiaf from Morocco have outpaced the rest. Ayeko wins, Hashiaf comes in second, and Kamal third. So gold medal Kenya, silver Morocco, and bronze Qatar. Away first time, and a good start from Sneha in lane four. But watch out for the Italian Borsi, just outside or on the outside. It's Alina Tale from Belarus. And it's a big surprise here. We were expecting Pavlovskaya to cross the line in first place. But it's her compatriot, Alina Tale. 12 seconds 95 for the Belarusian Alina Tale. It's a new military world record. The Italian Veronica Borsi is in second place. There was not so good because, uh, my it wasn't so good that my reaction very, very time was slow, as I was expecting my start to be more rapid. Um, I, hoped I, I would have liked better, to have done better, but, but I lost too much time. Uh, my time was waste. <laughs> In the 800 meters, Marcin Lewandowski decides to lead the race from start to finish. His rhythm drives the race and continues unabated to the end. His opponents are powerless, including the two Kenyans, Kivulva and Matan. It was a risky strategy, but a strategy that won the gold. The winning jump is made by the Paul Pavel Wojciechowski, and second place is taken by his countrymen, both delighted with their results. This jump of 5 meters 81 broke the world military record set by Jean Galfion, French Olympic champion in Atlanta. One month after this victory, Wojciechowski became world champion in South Korea. The Brazilian Fabio Gomes da Silva won the bronze. At the start of the 1500 meters, the best performers of the year risk doing badly. They're being watched by their opponents. The Ponovitki, the Kenyan Gathimba Gideon, and the Moroccan Mushtao will not be far from the title. The pace of the race is slow, with the favorites leading. Coming on the final bend, Gathimba leads the Moroccan Hajaj second. It's going to be between these two unless the Frenchman Kowal. Yes, the Frenchman Kowal overtakes the judge. He's going to race for second, but gold, it looks a foregone conclusion. That's for Gatimba, but there's a late burst. Kowal's going to lose the bronze medal. Hajaj takes silver. The time, 3 minutes, 40.61. Terrific run by Gatimba. Well, he lived up to his billing there, didn't he? perfect race
Beach Volleyball makes its first appearance in the Military World Games, an opportunity that the best players could not miss. Liu no saque. Bola fora é ouro do Brasil! Brasil vence também no masculino é ouro do Brasil e a festa da torcida. The duo Bernardo and Zhang get gold. The Chinese duo Zui and Liu silver. And the bronze goes to the second Brazilian pair. It's the role of the Military World Games to help us discover new talent, and it's an opportunity to see them playing. These girls are the hope of Brazil. They want to win gold. We played together for a whole year around the world, which was great for finding our rhythm. We've accumulated a lot of experience both in the Brazilian and the World Championships. This year we participated in 24 tournaments around the world. It's as though the men's game carved a path for the women's. They won the gold after a tough battle. And the women's pair Angela Vieira and Vanille de Leon have decided to emulate them. In the final, the Brazilian duo played the formidable Chinese pair Fang and Liu. Defesa da Val, levanta Angela, bate, 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 deu defesa, levanta Liu. O Brasil defende, de segunda, de segunda, Val é ouro, Brasil! Leon Vieira took gold. Fan and Leo Silva. The second Brazilian team, Raquel and Camilla, won the bronze to complete the success of the host country on the beach. In the little Maracanã Stadium, the Chinese saw stars, yellow and green stars, of course. Initially, they resisted, as you can see in this extraordinary point. Brazil has won three sets to zero against opponents completely overwhelmed by the power and pace of the South American arms. Mais um net point. Para fechar o jogo, saque chinês. Levantamento. O corte à defesa. Terminou, terminou, terminou. Medalha de ouro para o Brasil. Gold medal and the fifth CISM military world games champion, the team from Brazil. Brazil are military champions, hands down. Silver medal to China and Korea catches the bronze. The women's final is a replay of the men's final. Brazil was best again. vision from the Brazilians. The Chinese were resisting a strong defense from Brazil. They scored some great points, like this one. The Chinese won the first set with some impressive moves, but at the end, they surrendered, one set to three. Championship point. And they've done it. The Maracazinha erupts. Brazil have the gold medal in these military games. The dancing starts. There's some uh, tears flowing. And Brazil celebrates a gold. It was always going to be tight, but that's our fourth set. Perhaps easier than anyone would have thought. 25-12. Medalha de ouro e campeã do quinto Jogos Mundiais Militares do Cisme, a equipe do Brasil. Gold medal for Brazil, silver for China, and bronze for Germany.
The French Anne-Sophie Mondier is favorite in the final of the over 78 kilo category. She defeated Maria Alphamon from Brazil with an epoch. The fight lasted just over four minutes. Gold medal for the delighted French girl. In the under 78 kilo, the Paul Pogoselic fought against the Italian Gallion. With one Yuko and one Wasadi, the Paul won her fight and the gold medal. In the spectacular category of the under 100 kilo, Brazilian Correa is fighting the giant Dutchman, Van Luarda. Correa won gold more easily than he thought, and the silver went to Benjamin Van Luarda. The Kazakh Yeldo Smetov faces the South Korean Kwang Hyun Choi in the under 60 kilo category. Zhuang Gang won the fight after a few minutes with an impressive move that really showed his talent. In the under 66 kilo category, Paul Tomos Govarski confronts Iranian Gafar Musan. He wins at the end of the fight with an unstoppable Ippon. Tomas Kowalski won a great fight and the gold medal at the same time. In the under 52 kilo category, the North Korean Ang Kum Ai challenges Brazilian Andresa Fernandes. A spectacular Ippon wins the gold medal for the Korean after only two minutes. Within the nation's competition, Brazil is loaded with gold medals for both men and women. It's a great result. In these images, Leandro Guerrero won match point against South Korea. Brazil dominated three fights to two and the fans went crazy. Sarah Menezes floored the Chinese. Menezes is just 21, and she's already won a silver medal in the individual competition. This time, she's brought gold to her national team. Menezes... Placar parcial do combate. Brasil, three. China, one. Or show score. Brazil, three. China, one. And gold medal is the team from Brazil. Menezes had the compulsion to win, and it's something that the karaoke fans adore. The medal ceremony feels like a family party, with only Brazilians invited. Taekwondo now. It's a martial art originating in Korea. In the under 80 kilo category, one kick is enough to win gold. Iranian Haji Zavari beats South Korean Kim Hyun Min. In the under 68 kilo category, Brazilian Diogo Silva is on the path to victory against the Iranian Shaki Abbas, who doesn't have any illusions. In the under 49 kilo category, the French Yasmina Aziz beats the Chinese Yaoi Songs, six points to two. At 20 years old, the French competitor already has a great track record. In the boxing tournament, the Brazilians made a strong impression by winning four out of the ten gold medals. In the under-64 kilo category, Everton Lopez beat the Moroccan Abdel Haka Tanahi, 13-6. In the under-69 kilo category, the French champion Alexis Vatin beats the Moroccan Mehdi 
Kalsi, 16 points to seven. In the 81 kilo category, another Frenchman, Kader Boheni, defeats the Estolian Ina Carlson, 16 to 10. Everything's ready. The Chinese team are all set to jump. But don't worry, they'll be using parachutes. The trucks will bring them to the helicopters. The Chinese team are in the lead, having won 10 gold medals out of 24. 13 nations are competing, and these men are about to take off. They're champion skydivers, and they'll perform airborne choreography for 35 seconds. Precision landing is the oldest discipline of parachuting. For champions, this is the ultimate challenge of skill, technique and strategy. They need to manage the weather conditions to be able to make an on-target landing. The target is barely larger than a one pound coin. The various equestrian events captivate the Brazilian audience. Fortunately, it's one of their countrymen who has just won the gold medal in eventing. Colonel Jefferson Nowling has just completed the jumping event with zero forks. That put him at the top of the ranking. He's also added a silver medal to his collection as part of the Brazilian team. The rifle fire is one of the five events comprising a military pentathlon. The swimming event involves racing through hurdles above and below the water. The obstacle course takes place on a 500 meter track with 20 obstacles to overcome as quickly as possible. In the event of throwing hand grenades, it's worth knowing that the grenades are blanks. And after these very challenging competitions, the athletes still have to run an eight kilometer cross country race. Norway performed excellently in the rifle shooting, and the Brazilians were impressive in the obstacle events. But overall, China had a huge success, winning eight gold medals out of a total of 18. Compass and map in hand, the orienteering competitors have only one goal, to find the best route to reach their destination as quickly as possible. Their stadium is the forest, and these women and men must use nature to find their way through this new territory. There are several checkpoints and beacons, all of which the competitors must find. Orienteering became an Olympic sport in 1977. The military are very often the best at this event, and the Baltic countries, such as Switzerland and Austria, have a great deal of success. Within the American camp, the Air Force is well represented in the triathlon. 
For Katie Rakel and James Bales, the World Games are also an opportunity to discover themselves and learn more about their peers. So I'm, I'm an orthopedic surgeon is what I specialize in. Um, and so I'm a surgeon in Colorado, in Colorado Springs at the Air Force Academy. So my primary job is to operate on extremities. That means I, I perform amputations, limb salvage, any uh, athlete who gets injured, I do a lot of sports medicine type of surgeries, um, keeps me pretty busy. A lot of our soldiers who come back from Iraq or Afghanistan have some pretty significant injuries and the uh, soldiers who survive usually have an extremity injury, which means usually their arms or their legs are injured and those are my patients and those are the, the patients that I operate on and help to get back to uh, normal life. I provide intelligence support to F-16 pilots who are going through their formal flight training at Luke Air Force Base in Arizona. Early in the morning, the women go to Copacabana Beach and jump into the water. They have to swim one mile in the ocean waters. The Brazilian Pamela G. Lovero and the Chinese Xing are both in the lead of the bike event. The Pole Agnieszka Szczecik comes second in the running event, leading her to overall victory in the triathlon. She shares the podium with the Brazilian Moreno and the Pole Maria Szczecik. Now it's the men's turn to show off their talents. The program is similar to that of the women's. A 1.5 kilometer swim, a 40 kilometer bike ride and a 10 kilometer run. After one hour, 45 minutes, the Frenchman Pierre Lecour crosses the finish line first. He wins the gold medal, so he's super happy. The silver medal goes to another Frenchman, Gregory Hohel, and the bronze is for Italian Daniel Hoffer. Welcome to the Maria Link Aquatic Park for the start of the swimming competitions. First race is the women's 50 meter breaststroke. 31.47 seconds. Can she match it? The Chinese woman in line, lane four. And watch out for a compatriot, Randy Wang, in lane five. And it's the record holder, Zhang, who's setting the pace. It looks like being another Chinese one, too. He's going to take the bronze. It's Zhang in that distinctive black cap. Which is in company with Wang, Zhang, Wang, Wang, Zhang, and it's going to be Zhang who touches home first, confirming that championship record she clocked this morning. Zhang Hong Tao So wins the gold medal ahead of another Chinese, Wang Randi, and Brazilian Sakemi gets the bronze. The favourite in the 50 metre breaststroke is the Italian Lucas Pazzini. And the Chinese man is there as well. It's incredibly close. It could be between anyone of five and the first person to touch home. Kabalenko it is, 28.21 seconds. And it looks like we've got a dead heat between the Italian Luzza Pizzini as well. The 50 meter butterfly race. We need to keep an eye on the two Chinese, Lang Li in lane five and Jiang in lane four. Watch out for Fabio Lamolona. It's lane four, it's the Chinese woman, Zhao, who wins it. But it was awfully close. 26.77 seconds. Gold medal for Chinese Yang Liu Yang. Silver for Brazilian Fabiano Molina. And the bronze for another Chinese, Lang Liu. And the Roth is at 
very smooth start who's going to be the first to emerge and it's lane number two ukrainian Ilya yuvchev well, they're making waves it's another closely fought race manga bear is doing well so master romani though and i think it's manga bear and we'll look out for lane number three enrique martins it's between martins and manga bear the two brazilians my well, goodness me that's close again and i think it's manga bear it's a brazilian one too fantastic stuff just what the home fans wanted and the italian well in the end romani had to settle for third the start of the 1500 meters the chinese zoo and the brazilian arapiraca were impressive in the qualifying rounds We'll soon know whether the race will be merely a duel between the two favourites. Look at lane 5 where the Chinese Zhu is breaking away and heading for a certain victory far ahead of his opponents. He'll be a mightily relieved man. Let's look out for the time as he touches home. There it is, goal to China, 15 minutes, 18.81 seconds. Frederick Bocchia set the fastest qualifying time in the 50 meters freestyle. He's in lane four, the Brazilian Silva in lane five, and the Swiss Van Doren in lane three. Silva and Van Doren, Eric Van Doren, the Swiss swimmer as well. It looks like it's, it's the Brazilian. Fernando Silva has won, and the crowd absolutely love it. The winner is Brazil's Fernando Silva. The Italian Boccia wins silver and the Swiss Van Doren wins bronze. Brazilian Rodrigo Octavio Castro had the best qualifying time of 1 minute 51.77 seconds. He'll be swimming in lane 7. Switzerland's Alexander Lewis will be in lane 6. And the German Tom Sial, who's in lane five, could threaten the Brazilian. And Castro is having a final push. Can he get a medal? Can he take silver? Who's it going to be? Schiacchetti third, Ciara second, and Castro of Brazil, the local, takes third. Cesara Sciacchetti gets gold for Italy, Tom Siar gets the silver, and Rodrigo Octavio Castro takes the bronze. The 200 meters is a four-man racing spectacular. The favorites include the Kazakh Dmitry Gordyanko, who had the fastest qualifying time. He'll be in lane four. Marcus Gierke is also in with a chance. He'll swim in lane five alongside the Brazilian Venetia Salata. It's neck and neck. Can Yabe fight for that silk gold medal? It's neck and neck as it goes into the final few meters. It looks like Yabe might have got just ahead. And it looks like Yabe could clinch this gold medal for Brazil. It has indeed ahead of his teammate Salata, who led the entire way. So the Brazilian Diogo Yabe takes the gold medal, Venetia Salata the silver, and the bronze goes to the Greek, Arablius. In the 200 meter backstroke final, there should be a head to head between the two top qualifiers Ukrainian Andrei Nikishenko in lane four and Chinese Jipong Jiu in lane five. Will this be Germany's first gold? He looks to have got the measure of Diao. And he touches home first, and it is Wolf. 
Well, who said Wolves can't win? The German 22-year-old Felix Wolf wins gold with an excellent time of two minutes dead. Chinese Jipong Jiu is silver medalist. Brazil plays the basketball final against Greece. The Brazilians eliminated the U.S. in the semi-finals, 59 points to 52. In this match, everything started well with Ferreira Jr.'s first basket. The Greeks still believe they can win, but that won't last for long. Brazil's best attacker, Wellington Santos, always finds a way to score. The Greeks try to come back, but in the last quarter they cave in. Felipe Ribeiro scores 17 points. Brazil finally wins 76 points to 54, a new gold medal for Brazil. The sailing competition is set in the magnificent Guanabara Bay in Rio de Janeiro. The competition is divided into three types of regatta, the female fleet race, the open fleet race, and finally the open match race with eight J24 class yachts. Brazil is the big winner, taking two of the three gold medals at stake. Ukraine wins the third. We must take our hats off to our Brazilian hosts, who were hugely motivated to make these games a great event. They mobilized all of their resources. First, the human resources of the army. Then, from the public, they provided volunteers and also created a huge public awareness of the games. So I think that overall, this event now has its place in the international sporting world. We want to show that sport is very important to the military and that a world champion or Olympic champion can bring pride to the youth of his country through the pride of possessing a talent that will be honored in sports arenas when his national anthem is being played. And when the flag of his country is shown, we will be honoring the talent of that athlete and also the man himself. After eight days of celebration in a wonderful environment, the fifth military world game says goodbye to Rio de Janeiro. The closing ceremony is as dazzling as the opening festivities. The colors of the 110 nations parading create a perfect choreography. And now it's time for the 6,000 military athletes to make their appearance on the lawn of the stadium.
The enjoyment of the spectators and the achievements of the athletes will remain in each of their memories for a long time. The Military World Games 2011 are over. Vice Admiral Jose Bernardo Gamboa, President of the Brazilian Military Sports Commission, handed over the flame to the representatives of South Korea, who will organize the next Military World Games in the city of Mungeon in 2015.